Hi, this is Paul from Third Space Learning, and today we're going to look at factorizing quadratics into two brackets. Now, a quadratic is just an algebraic expression in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. The highest power there is 2. And we're going to factorize them when a is 1. Now, factorizing just means to put into brackets, which is the opposite of expanding brackets. As usual, I'll use our online classroom to go through the topic and look at some questions. Check out the links at the end of the video for access to tons of free resources, practice questions and information on our one-to-one -one personalised tuition. OK, let's have a look at factorising quadratics when a is 1. Grab a pen and let's dive in. Let's start by factorising the quadratic in the form ax squared plus bx plus c when a is 1. So, all we have to do here is find two numbers that multiply to give the end number, c, and add to give the middle number, b. So, for example, if we had x squared plus 8x plus 15, we need two numbers that multiply together to give 15, and the same two have to add to give 8. Well, 3 times 5 is 15, and 3 add 5 is 8. So we have our numbers. All we do now is open up a pair of double brackets and put an x at the start of one and at the start of the other one, because x is the variable, the letter. And then put the plus 3 and the plus 5 in the brackets. And that's it. All done. Fully factorised. So let's have a look at a few questions together to see how this works in practice. Factorise x squared take away 6x plus 8. Now a here is 1. Remember a is the coefficient of the x squared. It's the number in front of it. And it's actually just a 1. So we need two numbers that will multiply to give positive 8 and add to give negative 6. So let's start then by writing out the factors of 8. Well that's 1 and 8 and 2 and 4. So I need a pair of those, either 1 and 8, or 2 and 4, that will multiply to give a positive answer. Well, I know that if a positive multiplied by a positive gives me a positive, and a negative multiplied by a negative gives me a positive, that means that the signs must be the same if I want to multiply and get a positive answer. So they'll both be negative or both be positive. But... These numbers also need to add together to give this negative 6. So that tells me the numbers are probably going to be both negative. So let's choose our pair. Let's go over this one, 2 and 4. And we've got a negative 2 and a negative 4. And let's see if that works. Well, if I add those together, negative 2 add negative 4 is the same as negative 2 subtract 4, which is negative 6. So that works. And let's see if negative 2 and negative 4 work when we multiply. Well, negative 2 multiplied by negative 4 is positive 8, which is exactly what I want. So that works brilliantly. So that means our numbers are negative 2 and negative 4. All we have to do then is open up a pair of brackets, pop in the x, because the variable is x, the letter used here is x, and then use our numbers, so negative 2 and negative 4. And there we go, fully factorised. Now, we could write them in the other, other way around if we wanted to. X take, x take away 4, x take away 2, that's the same thing. But that is a perfect answer. So let's see where the marks come from. Well, we're going to get one mark for writing down x and a 2 with some sort of sign, and x and a 4 with some sort of sign. So even if you get the signs in the brackets wrong, you can still pick up a mark. But we want full marks, so the second mark comes from getting both negatives correct. And that is a two-mark question. OK, let's have a go at this question. Pause the video and have a go. Best of luck. OK, let's go through it. So it says factorise x squared plus 3x take away 18. And we can see that this is a quadratic where a is 1. So the coefficient of x squared, the number in front of it, is 1. So all we have to do is find two numbers that multiply to give negative 18 and the same two numbers that have to add to give 3. So let's start by writing out the factors of 18. So we got 1 and 18, 2 and 9, and 3 and 6. 
Now we need a pair of these that will multiply to give a negative answer. Right, well we know that a positive times a negative will give me a negative answer and also a negative times a positive will give me a negative answer. So that tells me the signs must be different. So let's choose our factor pair. Well, because we want them to add to give that positive 3, this 3 and 6 look quite good. The only question is, where do the signs go? So is it negative 3 and positive 6 or positive 3 and negative 6? Well, if we have negative 3 and positive 6 and we add those together, thinking of the number line, we jump to the right and we get a positive 3. So that works. Let's make sure that when we multiply them, we get the answer we need, negative 18. Well, 3 multiplied by 6 is 18 and a negative multiplied by a positive is a negative. So that works as well. So we have our numbers. They are negative 3 and positive 6. Great. So all we have to do now is open up a pair of brackets and we put an x at the start of them both because x is a variable here, the letter. And then we put numbers in. So negative 3 in one and positive 6 in the other one. Take great care to make sure that we get the signs the right way around. And there we go. Four marks. Fully factorised. But let's see where the marks come from. So there's one mark here. If you put an x and a 3 with some sort of sign in one bracket and an x and a 6 with some sort of sign in the other bracket. So even if you mess up the signs, you might get one mark. So that's good news. But we're out of full marks. So the second mark is for getting the answer fully correct. x subtract 3 in one bracket and x plus 6 in the other bracket. Two marks. Thanks so much for watching the video. Check out the description below for loads more information on this topic and for access to our library of free online resources and loads of information on our one-to-one -one tuition. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest third space learning videos.